In the beginning, there was chaos. Out of chaos rose worlds populated with multitudes of beings. Wars were fought. Kings and emperors rose and fell. Civilizations were built and crumbled as millennia passed. Gods, dark and strange, were worshipped in pagan temples. Still, there was chaos. All right. So, uh, with this, it says some people cheated. This is somebody changed. Boz changed the pretender at the last minute, I think by accident, but he messed things up. These are probably fine. Um, okay, let's take a look at where we spawned. We spawned right here, which is maybe the worst of the underwater starts. Um, yeah, the problem is there's another start right here. And so this is in. This is in his cap circle, this is in mine, and I really want this. Because this gives one way on the planet. If he's cool with not having a full cap circle, which depending on who it is, they may or may not be, um, then I'd like to have this, and we could have a long-term piece, and he gets like this stuff, because there's actually a fair amount of stuff down here. Because uh, th this start position, you would think like we're definitely going to go to war, but um, he also can go on Blandos. So we'll see. If it's one of the more aquatic focused nations that can't really go on land, uh, the the nations we have in the game, we should probably take a quick look at them. Uh, we've got Early Age Atlantis, we have Early Age Relay, we have Early Age Oceania. Um, these two nations, Oceania and Relay, they do like being... Okay, Oceania can go on land, but... Early Age Relay is basically an aquatic nation, not amphibious. So that might be an issue. Uh, coming down, we've got... There's 11 underwater nations in total. Uh, we've got Ghost Dick, which I guess is a ghost king from Middle-Aged Atlantis. Um... Naruko, which is middle-aged Atlantis. He actually told me where he spawned a moment ago. And I told him where I spawned. We have Yis. So all these nations are very amphibious. These ones. Uh, so that's a thing. Um, and then we have... Uh, Late-age Atlantis, which is... They start on land, but they're very amphibious. Um, we have me, Bubbles... We have uh, this dragon nation, late to the party. I don't even know what they get. I think it's these crazy dudes. They've got, the, they've got these guys. They've got dragon monks. Can only be recruited in coastal forts, huh? I think the craziest thing is they have these dudes who are 23 protection. And very cheap, very hard to kill. Um, yeah. And I think this... Oh, no, it's a metal spear. Okay, they used to have a... I think a claw attack, too. And then they have these guys who get free gems, so they can summon elementals, and they have a million map move. So, that's the other water nation. Who else do we have? Uh, we've got a Pelagia. I think I mentioned those. Okay, P middle Age Pelagia uh, is um, basically... They're mostly aquatic only. I don't think there's a Middle Age Oceania. And uh, Dom Danielle is another one that is an underwater nation. And they're really weird. They start in the water, but they suck underwater. They can get some ghosts or something. I don't even know. If they start next... They're basically free food for somebody. So we'll see. Um, the problem with this start is well this basically there's other complications too so what are what's ideal for me i have my god we're going to forge uh an enchanted ringmail armor which is this thing and it's only three pearls so we can do it turn one and it's going to make our protection a good bit more um we're for research we're going up to alt one which will hopefully so we're not researching now, but we're getting a slave mage. And uh, yeah, that will let us do skeletal body. We're hoping the first guy we get is a nature random, because as soon as we're done 
uh, researching uh, Alt-1. We're going to have our nature ones go out and look for forts. But this map, so aside from this, which is kind of shitty, this actually is an okay start. The other underwater start on this on this uh, planet is down here. And because my god has really high map move, if I get this province and then really any choke point on this coast, I'll be happy. Um, but I do want to go claim the jellyfish. Um, this province right here and this province right here, probably the two most important provinces for me on the map. Um, and that's because it's going to control entrance into Valanus, and it's going to control entrance into God's glory from underwater. Now, if you're amphibious, which, you know, a lot of these underwater nations are like, yes, is amphibious, there can be multiple players in here. So we'll see how that goes. But I really want the jellyfish. The jellyfish is, it's also farmland, so it's super valuable. One of the problems, though, is this particular province of the jellyfish is actually very close to this start here, because it's basically cap circle and then boom. And so I'm expecting, and this is actually, this start is where Middle Age Relay started. So um, this turn, assuming he doesn't blind expand, I think he's going to go boom here next turn. Um, and then up here. So potentially, if I don't mind bumping him, what is the MR? 21 is pretty high. I may, my plan, what I've done in test games is help with expansion at the beginning and then come up here, but I may not even help with expansion over here. I may immediately go snipe this province and then turn back and come and get one of these because this province is the other one that can be contested, but it can only be contested through this. Um, and this is actually a lot slower. Because there's not a start near here. There's a start over here, and there's a start down here. So it would take a while. But I could come get this, get my flag here, make sure they're not going to attack me. Uh, and then, yeah, that will give us access to both these worlds. There's also a way the play a player can come up through here, squiggle their way up into here, and get onto Valanus this way, through this little water system. That will take time, though, and I have time. But the most important thing, I think, for me is getting control of this province because this is right in somebody's near somebody's cap circle, and controlling it will... Controlling this uh, jellyfish is super important. Um, yeah, so that's basically the plan. I want to get the choke points on my planet. I want to get access to the jellyfish. Um, and I also want to start as soon as possible building a fort here. Um, and we're going to start recruiting Indies. We kind of have a lot of things we want to do. Um, but we're going to have to see, because every time I don't expand, uh, like I'm doing a rogue expansion like this where I'm just zapping somewhere, I'm not getting any income from it. So I, I kind of want to limit that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I think our, my god's not going to be generating a ton of income for me. He's going to be doing... Getting choke points, basically, is going to be his mission. Uh, now, the important thing, again, and I'll come back and stress it, is who spawns here. If it's a, an aquatic nation, like a nation that can't go on land, it means war is completely inevitable. It does not mean, necessarily, that it must start turn one. It could be in both of our interests that we finish expansion and then we fight. Um, so that's a thing that might happen. Um... If it's Don Danielle, I will probably go and try to kill them. If it's... Yeah, I don't know. If it's not, I'm probably going to try to have peace. Now, what I would want to have for peace is I really want this one province so that I can PD dump it, and then they have to screw off. But, yeah, I don't know. It may not happen. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, and they're going to be beelining for this. I think if they get this, and then I get this, and they get that, I'm okay with that. It's not what I want, but, like, neither of us can have what we want if we're going to be at peace. 
neither of us are going to get what we want. But if I get big and I have a really big economy, I can afford to even PD dump two provinces, which sucks. But the problem with two provinces, I got, I really don't want to do that. Ideally, whoever, if, we're, if this is going to be a war, ideally I'm the aggressor. If I don't have this province, like I snipe this with my god when he's not paying attention. And I need to get a scout in here to see when the fort's going up. Because I need to take it before the fort goes up. And then PD dump it myself or something. So we'll have to see. This is this is going to be very complicated. This is the bad part about this start, but the rest of it's fine. Uh, there's plenty of underwater for me to get. Um, if we get the jellyfish, we're in good shape, and I it's going to be a priority. I'm going to make myself get the jellyfish. Um, you know, this can also go sideways. My god, there's a very low chance he dies, but before I get alt one, there's a chance that that happens. And if he dies, we basically are going to lose. We're basically going to be a rump state. But we're rolling the dice, and um, it's a very, it's a die that so far, I've been basically unable to kill him. I've probably blind expanded with him like 400 times, and that he's died once in a blind expansion. And he didn't even die, he, he ran. So, we'll see. I mean, he would have died, but he chose to run. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So, everybody get ready. Oh, I gotta show you recruitment. Um, we're getting these guys. Slave Guardians are the shit. And we're getting three Illithids. So yeah, things are good. Alright. See you guys uh, next turn. Hope you're stoked. Next turn, by the way, we're gonna do... I'm gonna package these together. I wanted to spend a fair amount of time. I know this wasn't a very long episode. I want to spend a fair amount of time... Well, I guess we could talk a little bit more. Just how choke pointy this map is. No underwater nation spawns on Valanus, no underwater nation spawns on God's Glory, and no underwater nation spawns on Moon of Silent Seas. So my goal is, I would love to get all three, but my goal is to get God's Glory and Valanus. That is my goal. And we'll see exactly how that happens. But it's going to be hard, the problem with this particular start is it's going to be harder for me to accomplish that goal with having this person trying to kill me. And this part, I'm, the other thing I should say is this start is like a, a start between, I'm sandwiched between two players. So the odds are extremely high these players are going to team up against me and try to kill me. So I don't know. I, I think this is this is kind of a bad start. Um, I don't know if we can manage or not. And if we lose, we lose. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, but hopefully, at the very least, we can try to outplay them. And if it doesn't work, then, you know. We'll just pour one out for the squids. We'll pour one out for the squids. It'll probably save. It will probably be good for me. I'm kind of in too many games right now. So, uh, anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Peace.